for you. And you're like kind of more of a explanation of Street Fighter V Chun. Rolling, um, please. There's a lot of changes and differences. That's kind of probably be one of them. Um, Rope, thank you so much for the follow. Anyway, so I'm gonna try to explain as much as I can what works, what doesn't work in this game uh, as a Chun Li main. Uh, hopefully nobody enters or whatever, but if they do, then it's cool. Infamous, thank you so much for the follow. Um, so yeah, uh, generally you want to first find what are the great folks in this game. Charlie has very, uh, you know, several. She has roundhouse. Roundhouse is probably her furthest reaching, uh, but of course can be stuffed by lows. So you have to be careful. But this is a really good, you know, walk up roundhouse. You know, just a good poke in general. Another really, really good poke is middle kick. Um, it doesn't cancel anything, just like uh, run out. It doesn't cancel anything. Uh, or you, it does go into V trigger. Okay, so you can do that. Then you can do. Actually, I don't know. Probably, probably that, but it won't even combo. So it's a, it's an okay move. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't do it. It's just a good solid poke. Uh, middle kick is okay. Also the same thing, you're really not going to get anything from V-Triggering it. Uh, if you want to save V-Trigger, sure, or if you want to not get punished, that's fine. You can do middle kick or be standing around with V-Trigger. It's whatever. Uh, this one's really good just because you can walk with it. You can, I can hold forward and press middle kick. There is no unique or command normals. So you can just walk up, do it, and it's a solid poke, right? Um, one of the better pokes, in my opinion, is Crouching Middle Kick. It has some range. Um, you can cancel into it. You can do the punish with it. This is a for sure punish combo. So you do Crouching uh, Forward into Forward Middle Kick. You know, or Middle Kick uh, Spinning Bird, in my bad. Uh, it works out really well. You can also do Fireball. Uh, that one doesn't combo. But the middle punch one does, spear punch one does, the X one does, so it's it's good if you don't want to commit to anything. If you're just doing footsies and stuff, you know. But um, it's uh it's something that to just look for. Sweet, got hella nerfed in this game. It's not that great. Um, you get you do get some one of a knockdown, but it's very punishable on block now. And the range, the, the range of it is not that great. Uh, you can tell. You know, middle kick is a little. I mean, they actually reach more or less the same. I think sweep has a little bit of a better, you know, range or distance than the middle kick does, but it's not working, right? Uh, yeah. So negative twelve uh, on sweep. Um, so yeah, uh, middle kick. So you want to get uh, legs into this. Let me actually demonstrate something for you real quick. We'll have to change some buttons, but uh, it's quite all right for me. Uh, we need light kick. So let's get let's do light, light kick for this one real quick. And uh, thank you so much, Evan, for the follow. Um, so, anyways, um, if you actually, <laughs> I, I messed up. <laughs> I need jab as well. So let's get jab back in here. Uh, Let's get jab as wide. Okay, so hopefully I don't get to play anybody. If I do, whatever, it's fine. Uh, if you do it close enough, you should be able to get jab. I right, see. So you can get leg, uh, light kick, legs. It only works on light kick. Middle kick doesn't really work well, or uh, I don't. Uh, it doesn't combo, right? It doesn't combo. But if you do light kick one, it does combo, right? So you can get a uh, light kick, leg, jab into EX mode. Uh, if I have the ability. There you go. So that is an actual combo. So you could do, you know, uh, you could do something like. I mean, that should work. 
There you go. Hold on. Uh, man, was good. If I was good, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm not smashing it fast enough. Hey, well, something like that. There, well, see, that would. Who you stun? I could have got. There you go. Finally, God, I'm so trash at doing combos. Whatever. Uh, so yeah, light kick legs is really good. It has to be really close though, so you can't get it like. I don't think you know you need. You gotta get it really in there. So yeah, crouching, crouching fierce punch. Uh, it's kind of like Street Fighter 4. Uh, it can combo off the first hit or cancel off the first hit. What you want to do? Uh, combos like that. You can also do, you know, uh, uh. I know you can, I think you can do, I'm trying, I'm kind of gear crafting a little bit. Cool. I do, I'm pretty sure you can do super after that as well. Um, yeah. Uh, legs is a good hit confirm into uh, super. Uh, what's up, man? So, like, if you want to do, you know, like, uh, male crouching board, uh, legs. Super at work. Um, it's really helpful, you know, like just to get yourself a hit confirm. You don't need to just do uh, raw. I mean, you can if you were me, but uh, sometimes uh, you don't feel like you're comfortable hitting it. You get the legs part first, hit confirm, and then do your ultra or whatever. Uh, <coughs> or critical arts, right? Um, let me see. So, going back to pokes, your punches are other far reaching poke. And the unique thing about Fierce Punch, uh, this won't be really effective or really great in the high level play. But, you know, if you just use it, you're not going anywhere, right? But there are some normals where if you time the button right to where you press it, uh, you know, consistently in, in a loop, it'll actually push her forward. See? So, you know, you can kind of throw off your opponent by doing... See? So you make him think like, oh, he's safe, and then throw it again for, you know, counter hit situation. Whatever. Um, <coughs> anyways, uh, another good normal that is kind of like returning from his third strike uh, times is uh, back, or back to your sponge. So you can get a uh, counter It works on counter hit. Um, you can also get legs out of it. Um... Pretty useful on meaty setup, right? Holy, please. So you can do, and it works. You know, as a meaty, you make you can actually combo off of it. So you can do, but if you do it raw, it won't work. You have to wait for it. And you can also get Spitty Bird, which is really thick, um, really helpful. So uh, what I tend to do sometimes when I do get that fierce punch. You can do a uh, low forward into that. It's, uh, it's really easy to hit. Uh, not doesn't take much to, to hit it. So what I usually do is I'll do jump round out. If I hit this kick a firm, do that B trigger, low forward leg super, and it does a lot of damage. Um, what else? Uh, jump middle kick is a really good cross up. As you can see, and it works too with a lot of her moves, so you, it's comboable really well. It's just something that you have to really look for when you have knockdowns. It's not really like Street Fighter 4, you know, people wake up, you know, <coughs> DBs will beat it. Uh, eventually, there'll be safe jump setups and stuff like that to where you can hit it, but you know, knockdowns isn't that 
prevalent in this game than Street Fighter 4. There's a lot of quick rises and stuff. So opportunities to hit cross up like that on people's wake up is really rare. But it is there, right? So it happens. Um, <coughs> one of my favorite uh, gimmicks is back in this game. Uh, is the stop. Uh, you hit it low enough, you can get the fierce punches. But it's kind of hard. Ryu's kind of small, so I don't know if it works on him. Pretty sure you can get that. Let me try again. Nah, it doesn't work. So what you can do is actually just go for the cross up. Uh, hold on. And it should all work. You have to wait for it to get on the way down to make it combo. But you can. Oh, there you go. There you make. That's that's when you make it com uh, uh, combo. Combo. So you can just. It is possible, just really hard. But that's the combo right there. Really good, really damaging, and like I said, it's a gimmick that works. Uh, this one's pretty good too. They made the hit stun on that really well, so you can get a lot of good combos off of that. You can get Spinning Bird, EX Spinning Bird, all that good stuff. Um, thank you, Debbie. What else? Okay, so you know, we have Fireballs. Um, took away the middle punch one. None of them goes full screen, I believe, except for EX. Yeah, EX does, but um, let me go back to the buns that I had, which was, this was Jab, X, this is Middle Punch, <coughs> that one's, I don't care, Light Kick's fine, Middle Kick, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Well, just for, just to show some of the, the similar, well, the different fireball. Fierce punch. Doesn't go it goes pretty fast, the recovery's good. But it doesn't go far at all, right? It's like that basically. Um Yeah, uh Shadow made this layout guys, so give him uh shout out to him. Um so yeah. The fireball game kinda nerfed in this game. It's not as great as it was before. Um you don't wanna really do EX Primarily just because it's not really worth it. Uh, other than, you know, getting close-up combos, but for the most part, <coughs> it's not really that convenient. Well, it's just not, you don't want to waste the meter on that. Um, actually, let me try something, because I remember in the first beta, you were able to do close, uh, back fear sponge, EX, uh, uh, fireball, into uh, jab, I think. But I don't know if it works anymore. Let me put him in this corner. So. Uh, does that work? Oh. I don't think it works. So, there's no way you can combo that. Uh, it used to work, now it doesn't. Um, sorry if I'm not paying attention to the chat. Um, but this will be on YouTube, so it'll be a great learning experience for a lot of Chun Li players out there. Uh, kind of what I wanted to do in this game. You know, Street Fighter 4 wasn't able to help the character community that want much. I just kind of the best and that was it but now I kind of want to help out be, be uh, a teacher more than than the competitor but I still want to compete and you know be the best so we'll try to do both things right um let me see other moves okay so this is a, a new move well not really new this is also from third strike forward roundhouse is a really good counter hit uh, potential move it goes over lows uh, or most some lows 
I'm pretty sure it goes under uh, reuse, low forward, goes under um, you know, lights and stuff like that. I mean, unfortunately, there's no crouch tech, so this this <laughs> move would have been godlike in Street Fighter 4. But it's really good for potential. Let me actually add in counter hit and take off the stun real quick. So no stun and counter hit's on. <laughs> So, try to get. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. So, you get jab after that roundhouse. That's also another combo. Even without, uh, you know, counter hits, you can still get low jab, uh, standing middle punch as a combo. And then you get legs after that. You can get regular uh, middle kick legs as well. It's just that one's easier for me. There you go, see? And you can get super. Uh, so, you know, if you find yourself in a good situation or you find yourself in a counter hit situation, you can do. And that should work. Uh, let me try it again. There you go. There you go. So, that's a good move to, to know. Also, I'll know that crush counter uh, is with back fierce punch and standing roundhouse. And you get super out of it. Out of both of them. I think the roundhouse one, you can get some combos. Uh, just kind of. Oh wow, you can even dash. That's crazy. So you can do that. Dash into whatever you want. That's really sick. So I think you can even do this. Oh no, of course no, that's not gonna work. So you can do uh no, that doesn't work. Okay, so that's that's kinda crazy. And you get super out of that too. So you can do. I'm not good at this. Oh, you don't even have to like dash. Oh, you can like walk up. Uh, dash is more fun. I gotta get super out of it, that's bad. Well, anyway, I'll get it eventually, but I don't wanna waste too much time on this. Well, uh, there you go. Something like that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lads, we're not we're not grandmaster right now. No, no, no. Uh, let me see. What else am I missing? So yeah, those uh those counter crushes are pretty good. Uh, remember that you can get them off of DP. So if you get a see a whip DP or block DP, you can do this and then do that into you know you can do the light leg one, right? So I'm sorry, starting, starting to think that maybe I should keep light kick somewhere. Uh, it seems like a really important tool, but we'll figure that out. I don't know yet. I, I think what also works is like you can do. Oh my god. Uh... Nah, that's, that's a little too much. I want to do like that into Spinning Bird, but eh, it's a little too much. Okay, so let's move on to. Okay, so let's get some uh, V skill. We haven't done any V skill combos yet. Uh, v skill works as uh, kind of like an uppercut, but not necessarily. Let's think of it more as a launch combo <coughs> or a launch button. So you get a uh, flex under that. Um, one of my favorite combos to do in this game, and it's more of like if you really want to style on your opponent. You could do, uh. Let me see if it works. Oh. 
well. I wanted to do, uh... Man. And that should come. Um, I don't know if maybe the juggle kind of runs out when you're doing that. But, um... Oh yeah, I, I see what you're saying, Shutter. You're right, you're right, you're right. Um, so, do you want to do... Well, if I had a better damn remote, then... Okay, so maybe not jump roundhouse. Man. There you go. So I guess it's not a good idea to do it on the jump roundhouse. I'll do more lab work. This is more of a raw, you know, help out video, so I don't know for sure. But I'm pretty sure it'll work. Okay, so well, the way it makes you make it work, you do one stop, right? So the combo is, you know, jump, be triggered, this, uh, one stop, roundhouse into into critical art, right? So I'm gonna try to do it. I'm this remote kind of kind of crap, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I didn't miss it. Yeah. And you just do Crip R right when you land. So it's pretty good. Um, super does it. It does go through Fireball at a certain distance, probably like around here. You can do Super from here, and it'll hit. You know, it'll go through a Fireball. But it's not. You know, it's not Ultra, right? This is not a Hosenka. Hosenka was. You know, you're not gonna get anything from full screen. Alright, so I think a lot of the people that hated Chuzzle for one can uh, give a sigh of relief that it's not as broken as it used to be, but it's still alright. Alright, so let's uh, work on some anti airs real quick. Uh, this is gonna be a long video, but uh, it's well worth it just for you know, educational purposes. And I was already there and I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's do jump. Okay, so you have you jumping. Obviously, some of the great anti-airs in this game for Chun, background house, always works. Um, unfortunately, the only thing that's bad about this one is you can't really get a follow-up. Uh, you can get a media after this. You know, but... Let's actually take away counter. Or, yeah. We can do, like... And then get a move. Um... So like, you know, we could do like, something like that as a meaty. Uh, it really worked pretty good. Um, another good anti-air is back fear fun. Had some like, high, you know, priority. Yeah, it, the thing about this one is that it trades a lot. So the normal, it's good, but it's not the best, right? Um, another really good one actually is a uh, forward middle punch. Uh, it just works really well, and she has such a high hitbox with this that you know you could it beats out a lot of normals. Just still not the best, but it's something that you can use. Uh, background house is the best one. It just beats out almost everything at a, at a good range, so they start jumping. Um, one of the nerfs from Street Fighter 4 to Street Fighter 5 is she can juggle off of a second hit of the target combo in the air. So if I do that, they flip back into neutral state, right? So one of the ways to combat this is jump middle punch. And if I'm not that bad, I can do it. Should, it. Should work. Uh, did they change it? Oh, the jump which one? No, hmm. I know it used to work. I mean, that still works. So you could just do 
<coughs> EXP bird work. Um, also the other thing is that if you do manage to get one hit of the Fierce Punch, which is kind of hard to do, you can get, uh, you know, the combo, so... And you can get EX legs in the air. That's the new move in Thurston, this game, is air legs. Um, I guess it's good when people are waiting for anti-airs, you know, you can do it. I don't know if Tiger Knee is still available, I'm not... I know in one of the betas you can like, do a, a kind of like a step cancel or stop cancel into it. And it looks pretty crazy, but I haven't been able to, to actually make it work. Uh, anyways. So, you got that. Of course, I forgot to mention with the B skill. Uh, you get that. That's the standard combo. And remember now that, well, I guess not remember, but I, I had to learn that. You can actually just hold down and just press kick, kick, kick for the stops. Not separate them. Uh, I'm so bad at hitting beast kills. Well, whatever. Uh, she also has her throw again in the air. It's kind of different. But, I don't know. It, it's okay. I can't believe that doesn't work as a stop anymore. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, jump roundhouse again is a really good anti-air. Jump neutral actually got really good. So jump middle kick is so good as an anti-air. Just, just because it sticks out so far, right? Um, it's basically like a moving back jump neutral roundhouse. So I really like it. Uh, that, that's probably one of her best moves right now in the air, jump middle kick. It's just, so it has so much versatility and has defense and offense. All right, let's get this guy on the ground. Uh, let's do crouch. Okay, so, there's not a lot of um, specific ground uh, tech right now that I know of Chun, but there is one that's pretty good. And it's, uh, if you have V trigger active, you can do this weird Hassan looking move, right? And actually come combo it into jab. <laughs> so it's really good. Um Unfortunately that doesn't work. Does that really work? I don't know. Actually let me put uh dark. Not that close. No, I knew it didn't work. Okay, whatever. So yeah, you would want to do this with the leg or that if the get leg. So, um, beat trigger on Sancho is really good. Um, it's, uh, you know, just to catch people opponent, it, 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 it is, uh, on overhead. So, <coughs> it's really useful. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't combo without V-Trigger, so you need that second hit. Um, anything else that I'm missing with Chun, for the most part, uh, not really. Um, this character just requires a lot of patience, a lot of in and out, a lot of um, spacing. Getting used to the normals, not hesitating on the normal too, right? Like you, know, you want to do your your, your back fierce punch um, meaties. You want to be able to understand meaty in this in this game. That's the most important new thing you have to learn from this game. The three five four. In three five four, like there were so many invincible wake up options that meaties were really you know rare. Uh, this game, there's not much of that, and. You know, <laughs> with counter hits being uh, prevalent in this game, you really need to work on the meaties, work on uh, establishing some moves on wake up so people can't back that, so people can't just, you know, DP at will. Uh, it takes a lot of mind games in this game, a lot of, you know, mental thought. But uh, for the most part, I believe Chun is really good. I think she's underrated by a lot of players. Um, 
I mean, the people that know, that, like, you know, 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 it, they know she's good. Well, uh, unfortunately, that doesn't work on standing. Or crouching. But on standing, it does, so. So just try to remember that, guys. Um, like I said, a lot of it, you have to really practice with V-Trigger. V-Trigger still, a lot of the tech is unknown. But I think with more to come, she'll be. Uh, there'll be more tricks to come out. And I'll definitely pull out some more videos and, and try to help out guys um, learn her the right way. I know I'm already getting a lot of people asking me how I like Chun. Uh, it's gonna be a kind of a work in progress because I am trying to get Karen to be good. I'm not good enough to pull out a, you know. Karen a tutorial video or anything like that, but she's definitely someone that I want to pick up, that I want to master. Uh, it's going to take a while. Not with this remote. Uh, I usually have a 360 remote that's a, a company with an adapter for PS4 or PC. So I just need to find it. I don't know where it is. I really hope I didn't lose it, but it's got to be somewhere here or cast house, something like that. Um, so yeah, the matchmaking kind of went to shit for me, and uh, pretty unfortunate. But yeah, uh, if anybody has questions, you know, what to look for, or what they should do, how to approach this character, how to use this character optimally, you know, buttons, character matchups. I'm going to try my best to learn everybody's character matchups. I have some ideas, but I don't want to um, go into detail with those because, like, it's a beta, right? And we're not at the final product. So I'll probably be doing this tutorial again for the, for, you know, for the first day or day one or when the actual game hits. But <clears throat> this is kind of just, you know, getting people accustomed to Street Fighter Five Chun, right? Uh, Street Fighter Four Chun was good. Uh, if I had to compare the characters. I want to say Street Fighter 4 Ultra Chun is like the best still, but we'll see what this character can bring. You know, I'm not. I'm pretty, pretty hyped for it. Oh yeah, there is none. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about the cartwheel. Yeah, give us back the cartwheel, right? Yeah. Anyways, guys, so that's where I'll end the video.